This week on Ninja Lab, we're going to be going over qualifiers that took place on the scariest day of the year. That's right, election day. Oh, wait. Wait, no, that's not right. I meant Halloween. <laughs> Welcome to Ninja Lab, my name is William, and once again, we're going to be taking a look at four different qualifiers in the Elite Division of Season 6. Now, the later two of this episode will be special Halloween-themed qualifiers that took place the weekend of October 31st. <laughs> but before we do that, let's take a look at the qualifier for Sinai Sports. For the Elite Female Division, in second place was Sophia Oster. The Sinai Sports qualifier was a bit weird in that almost every person who attempted this course, regardless of gender, failed in the exact same location. About halfway through the course, there is a very challenging crankshaft balance tank type obstacle. In the case of Sophia, she was looking pretty strong through the course early on, getting through the cannonball hooks using a patented figure four maneuver. However, when she got towards the end of that crankshaft obstacle, she went for the dismount, but the crankshaft sadly slipped out from underneath her, and she was unable to complete the obstacle and was eliminated at that portion of the course. Because Sophia had already qualified for the Northeast Regional, Rachel Franch is the benefactor and earns a qualification in the Regional Finals. And in first place was Ashley Gianni. Just like almost everyone in this entire qualifier, Ashley could not get the crankshaft going and she was unable to move past the obstacle even one step before losing her balance. <laughs> However, she managed to reach that obstacle a little more than 30 seconds faster than Sophia. Now, Ashley did have a few close calls along the way, but the main difference was that she took much less time on the cannonball hooks, getting through that obstacle at a faster pace than Sophia. This allowed her to snag first place, 10 points, and she qualifies for the Northeast Regional Finals. Oh, good snag. Due to an extreme ninja killer, only two people out of the entire field were able to complete more than half of the course. For the elite male division, in second place was Steve Lepo. Steve similarly used the figure four technique on the cannonball hooks and had a big bounce on the trampoline, but the moment of truth was the balance crankshaft. He looked a bit wobbly at times and almost lost his balance, but Unlike many of his other competitors, he persevered and completed the obstacle, only one of two people to do so. Unfortunately, we never got to see if Steve was able to complete the whole course because he unfortunately timed out about 75% of the way through, and that's just all she wrote. But the good news for Steve is that he qualifies for the Northeast Regional Finals. Hey, Cole. Get through this, get through this, easy, go, go! Sweet, sweet, Come on! There you go! And in first place was Aiden Wood. In a stacked field with an extremely tough ninja killer in the middle of its course, Aiden was the qualifier's only finisher, and he looked very smooth on almost all of the obstacles. 
Only the crankshaft and the wing nuts seemed to give him any real trouble. The crankshaft it took a little bit for him to get things going at times, but he was able to make a huge dismount to save some time. And towards the end of the course, he got a little hung up with this swing on the wing nuts, but he was able to correct and complete that obstacle, and he was able to complete the entire course with more than one minute left on the clock. Aiden now qualifies for the Northeast Regional Final and proved that he is a force to be reckoned with. Let's go! Fix it. Fix it. If you're looking to compete in the National Ninja League this season, make sure you go to nationalninja.com to look up the schedule of upcoming qualifiers and see if there's any in your area. Now, make sure you fill out your waiver before you compete. It's very important if you've never competed before and know which age division that you're competing in. Now, let's go and look at the results for Westchester Ninja Warriors. For the Elite Female Division, in second place was Rachel DeGutz. Rachel actually got hung up early on on the ring obstacle almost in the beginning of the course, but she was able to recover and continue her way through. And then, well, she was looking good up until she got to the cliffhanger transition. She had to make a cliffhanger lache and she was unable to make the jump. And she good, did good enough for second place, which earned her qualification for the New England Regional Finals. And in first place was Addie Herman. Addie is just a real fighter. She was able to get to the cliffhanger about 30 seconds faster than Rachel. But unlike Rachel, she was able to complete the transition. But the real story is what happened in the obstacle immediately afterwards. Addie got hung up on the uh, zip line transition where she had to take the rail car and transfer it to the, from one track to another. She spent about a minute and a half just hanging on the transition ring, trying to get the handle from one track to the other. She was eventually able to do it, but unfortunately, when she reached the end of the second track, she couldn't make the dismount and fell at that point of the course, probably due to exhaustion. But an impressive first place run nonetheless. For the elite male division, in second place was Nolan LaJoy. Nolan was able to maneuver through all the early obstacles, getting through the spring pegs and the spinning cliffhanger, as well as the spinning log balance obstacle, which seemed oddly easy compared to some of the hard obstacles earlier on in the course. But unfortunately, with time ticking down, he was unable to complete the sideways obstacle because he was extremely pressed for time, just about 20 seconds left on the clock. But he earns himself second place, and because he already qualified, Luke Dillon qualifies for the New England Regional Qualifier. Fifteen. And in first place was Joseph Meisner. 
The unknown superstar, it was extremely impressive on the course, going through the obstacles with a very fast pace, and he was able to reach the sideways obstacle faster than Nolan did. However, at the very end of what just might have been the final obstacle, he, Joseph was unable to maintain his grip and fell at the very end of the course. But the good news is that he qualifies for the New England Regional and will get his, the opportunity to showcase his skills once again. It's now time for the comment question of the week. If you could run a ninja course dressed as any fictional character of your choosing, regardless if the costume would impede your ability to do the course or not, who would you be? Let's just assume that, regardless of how ridiculous the costume is, it won't hurt your results. Leave your answers in the comments below. Now, let's get spooky with the results of the original Movement Laboratory. For the Elite Female Division, in second place was Abby Clark. Abby had a close call on the dismount of the salmon ladder, but other than that, she was looking very smooth on the course overall, very confident. But unfortunately, those darn unstable shields just got the better of her, and she missed her hand placement on the third shield. And in first place was the similarly named Addie Herman. Addie was able to complete the shields, unlike Abby, but she was able to get a few obstacles further on top of that, and she looked quite good overall. Unfortunately, time waits for no woman, and in the middle of the attempt on the fidget spinners, time simply expired on Addie, so we never got to see how she would have done on the rest of the course. For the elite male division, in second place was Josiah Pippel. This young man was just flying through this course, like as if he had somewhere else to be and he had an important meeting to keep or something like that. He was skipping obstacles, he skipped the, the pegboards, he skipped almost all of the rotating cliffhanger ledges, and he was primed to potentially take down the entire course, but however... When attempting the reverse grab catch on the cliffhanger, well, let's just say it did not work out in his favor. No! And in first place was Matthew Bradley. Matthew was dressed as a unicorn and he was simply magical on the course. Just like Josiah, he did some impressive looking skips and even though he didn't do the fancy uh, technique on the shields like Josiah did, he was able to make it further into the course. Specifically, he was able to clear that reverse grab that I mentioned earlier. And most importantly, he cleared the entire course with a time of 1 minute and 31.74 seconds. Because both Matthew and Josiah qualified for the Northeast Regional Final, Joe Capo and Brandon Singletary are the two benefactors and now qualify for that event. Yeah. 
The voting for the National Ninja League Pro Series has begun. If you would like to participate in the selection process for who will get the final spot in both the male and female tournaments, go to the National Ninja League Instagram page and vote by going to the page's stories and selecting who you think has the best ninja move in each competition. Good luck to all of the remaining competitors. Now, let's take a look and wrap things up at the results of Ultimate Ninja's St. Louis. For the Elite Female Division, in second place was Hannah Johnson. Hannah was looking very good early on the course, but unfortunately she hit a major roadblock in the form of the rolling mat. She got hung up, she didn't get the proper push that she needed, and she just got stuck in no man's land forever. And once she got set off track, she had no choice but to jump for it. And unfortunately, she could not make the jump. But she does qualify for the Heartland Regional Final, so that's the bright side. And in first place was Laura Lane. Laura actually expressed concern about her run prior to starting the course. Perhaps it was all the spooky obstacles lying around. But this fear ended up being unfounded as she ended up going deeper than any other woman of the field. In fact, she was able to make some pretty impressive removes and recoveries. And even most insane is the fact that she accidentally threw the salmon ladder bar into her own head and still completed the obstacle. I audibly yelled when I watched that clip, but holy cow, that was impressive in itself. I don't blame her for failing the lache to the corkscrew immediately after. She earned that first place as far as I'm concerned, and she qualifies for the Heartland Regional Final. The elite male division was extremely stacked, with a challenging course and a tight time limit. Also, finishing was not guaranteed a qualification. So, in second place was Caden Lipsack. Caden was simply amazing on this course. He was skipping obstacles, he was smooth, he got up the unique warped wall in no effort and he was able to complete the entire course in a time of 2 minutes and 18.54 seconds approximately 4 seconds faster than the third place finisher Cameron Baumgarter he qualifies for the Heartland Regional Final In a field that included other strong ninjas like Vance Walker and Kevin Carbone, in first place for the elite male division was Sam Folsom. Sam simply flew through this course, just similar to Caden, skipping obstacles and pulling off impressive laches along the way. Sam did not look tired throughout the entire course. And you know the phrase, every second counts? Well, Sam finished the course in 2 minutes and 17.46 seconds. That's right, he was only 1.08 seconds faster than Caden. So what did Sam do to beat Caden's time? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but if I had to guess, I feel like Caden had a slight hesitation on the final obstacle, where Sam just went straight for it and hit the buzzer after completing it. I think that slight hesitation is what cost Caden, but at the end of the day, they both qualified for the Heartland Regional Final, so 
It's all good. Good, 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 go, 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 go! Nicely done! Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and watch full runs from this season's qualifiers of all the best competitors. I'll see you next time. Later.